black. Lots and lots of black. No, I'm just joking. There's some there's some color up here. It's just most of this map is like out of the out of the blue or is out of the the mode. I don't know why. But every time I press the recording button, I always enter combat mode. It's hilarious, I swear. For the first time you enter the castle, the capital of all of Avernum, it is an amazing structure. Beautiful and filled with rare craftsmanship, for example. It actually has wood floors. Then Precious veneer, somehow brought from the surface. Somewhere inside you might find King Micah, wise and harried leader of Avernum. That is, if he agrees to see you at all. First, you must get through the closed iron gates to the other end of the room. All you can do is approach and see what happens. Guards at the entrance demand to see your royal token. These bronze tokens show that one has earned the right to see Micah, sovereign of Avernum. You proudly present your token. They wave you through. Ding! <laughs> uh, I just show him like a penny. Achievement unlocked. Halls of power. I love achieve achievements. All right, somebody's watching me apparently. Commander's office. What's up, Commander? Captain Houghton. A huge man with heavy armor and a halberd sits at the desk, going over maps. He looks very weary, as if the long war has slowed him or has slowly grounded him down. Oddly, the maps are of Northern Avernum. One particular cave is marked with a big red X on each map. Magnusos notices you peering over his soldiers. Ominous, yes. And you should see it that way. I'm Captain Houghton, commander of the castle forces. Are you in command of the castle guards? <laughs> Dude, some of these options are just so bad. Like, like I noticed this earlier, like... Like, he says that I'm, like, like this guy, for example, I'm commander of the castle forces. And I ask, are you in command of the castle guards? He literally just said that to you. And you're just, like, repeating, like, asking, like, a question that he already gave you the answer to. Like, I, I noticed that, that earlier, and I, it's, like, the first time I actually, like, said it, because, uh, reasons. He grunts. I'm in charge of the defenses here while the other commanders lead raids against the Sliths. I used to lead the raids, for years. I did more than my share. Now I mainly take care of the castle defenses for when we get attacked. You're going to be attacked? Well, I hope not, but they said that someone like me should be watching the castle, because it's so important. And they were right. I've had four months to prepare, and I bet they'll charge any day now. And I'm ready. I have a great plan. What's your plan of defense? Oh, I can't tell you that. I figured he'd say something like that. It's not like he'd tell you it. I mean, you can't trust me yet. I mean, seriously, a guy just met me. There's no no reason for him to trust me. I could be a fucking sleuth spy. Yeah, I could be. But I'll tell you this. The first band of sliths which comes here will stumble into crossing streams of missiles and magic the likes of which Avernum has never seen. Can I get training here? Houghton snorts. <laughs> this is no miserable school, bizarre. This is the castle. Go east to Almeria if you want training. Well, I think Starcap is still alive. What is on those maps? He looks at you, up at you suspiciously. Are you only here to mock me? Another in a long line, I assure you. He thinks. I will tell you what concerns me, but only if you prove yourself. By doing what? The entrance to the castle cells is in one of the eastern chambers. There is a demon in one of the cells. Please drive it out. I will have it sell and locked for you. Do this, and you will be proved worthy of my confidence. Um, so what is this demon doing in the cells? We captured a sleuth mage. Before it could be interrogated, it summoned a demon, hoping to break free. A demon took over the sleuth's mind. Not the most effective escape plan. Since then, I've been trying to find someone who can drive the thing out. You seem available. Okay, sweet. Got a new quest. Ain't that awesome. Oh, he, shit, he won't even let you... What? I was about to say. He ain't gonna let me pass. He's just gonna, like, cock block me the entire time. Well then, in that case... <laughs> Did you hear something? I'll open it for you guys. Don't mean to close it. Uh, they got like a rail line in their castle. 
and this is very advanced. The finest, most disciplined warriors in Avernum have been selected to guard the castle. It's a wise choice. A Slith raiding party might sneak in at any moment. They are a grim, focused lot, and they have little respect for adventurers. None of them will talk to you. I see. It's the anti-social lot. Okay. Let's just take a look around. Talk to Chef Theresia. Meet the chef of the castle. Perhaps the finest food preparation specialist in all of Avernum. Alas. Oh, here, I'll be right back, folks. I have returned. Alright. <laughs> what an interesting way to, uh... To... To return, I suppose. Threaten you all with a knife. It's not even a knife. It's like, more like... It's not even sharp at all, like, seriously. I was like... It's like not even sharp. I think it's really just meant as like a little tool to cut cheese in like my little cheese box I got. It came with it. I think that's really all it's good for. <laughs> anyway, let's just play the game now. Just quit dicking around like a little cockmaster I am. All right. Alas, the moment she sees you standing around and savoring the delicious smells, she drives you away, yielding a broom like a halberd. Your status doesn't appear to merit a meal. Well then. Excuse me, miss bitch. Take off your clothes. No. <laughs> I'm gonna open all your doors. Suck it. Alright, let's see what's in here. Look at that little, little moat. It looks kind of weird. It's like all like Tron. <gasps> yeah, damn it, I got hiccups. <gasps> KMS. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's painful. East Barracks. Castle Cells. Ooh, this is where I need to go for that one. <laughs> Mission. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna wait for these hiccups to go away. I think they're over. Literally, as soon as I take a sip of coffee, it's like done. This is the entrance to the Castle Cells. It's very clean, and the normal sweaty odor of a prison is absent. The cells must be all... all must all be below. Alright, I'm gonna save before I continue on. I don't know what button I pressed. I was like, what? Didn't open anything. I must have pressed the, uh, I think that's like a hyphen symbol. Whatever's next is the one button, but not the two button. Okay, let's see. We got a platinum ring. Okay. That's uh, more shit than it is gold. And actually, it is pretty good in terms of selling. As you get close to this gate, there is a blinding flash of light. A magic barrier in a rich, forbidden shade of purple has appeared and is blocking access to the bars. As you get close, it throws sparks at you. You don't know how to affect the barrier. It's too powerful for your magic to dispel it. Back away, and the barrier fades away. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to pretend? Fine. I'm okay with that. Alright, so these are the deep cells, huh? Well, let's uh, take a look around this place. This is the demon, Infernal Canaris. Oh, there's two of them. Oh shit, his turn got skipped. It is very unfortunate that something like that must happen. But it must happen. Okay, let's do that. And I think we'll just have her squirt her lightning down there. Hmm, that's great. Ooh, cool. Oh, what are you doing? Don't daze me. I swear to God, Elmo will kill you. Alright, we're gonna lethal blow this, this fucker. Uh, yeah. Or whatever it's called. I don't think it was called lethal blow. <laughs> I think it was called like something else. Something of that nature, though. Okay, let's attack again down there. I've resisted being terrified. Well, that's good. Damn it, her turn keeps getting skipped. Oh, that mindless cult is gonna go to hell real soon. Oh, don't do that. Oh, damn. Lightning ability is damaging. 
Okay, you, sir, are going to heal all. Because that was very damaging. Damn. My, my character got so terrified. Get a kill to him. Get rid of one of them. No, quit running. Ah, quit running. Okay, we'll just uh, move away. And uh, I guess priests do some holy magic on this guy. We'll, uh, I guess, uh, damn, what could we do? I guess smite him. I mean, really. There's, like, not really anything better. Okay. That is 52 to 193. And 15% bonus, though. Oh, that's 20% bonus. Yeah, lightning spray would do more damage. It's a more effective spell. Oh, shit. That was not good. She got destroyed. Absolutely and utterly destroyed. Oh, you just got parried. What do you do? What are you gonna do? Alright, so we're gonna have him heal himself. It's too bad the mage ain't gonna get very, very much points from uh, this battle. Like experience points. Uh, mainly because uh, she died. <laughs> 23? Oh, ain't that big of a deal. Just 23 experience. Blah, blah, blah. Not bad, not bad at all. Get some bread. A bunch of limbs on the ground? Dang. Somebody got their arms destroyed. Just destroyed. Okay. Guess we gotta leave and re-enter in order to uh, restore her, her uh, life bar or life meter, or something like that. I guess. Okay. Yeah, she's back to normal. Okay. Let's. Uh, I actually didn't check what was in this room right here. Let's do that real quick. Portal chambers. Oh, this goes to a little mage portal. Sign says Tower Pylon. If you have not received instruction at the Tower Mag, I keep away. Received instruction. There's a secret button. Oh, ho, ho. what is up with that? Huh? It's a book. A curing elixir. Okay, we'll grab that. Magical notes. We'll also grab that. Terra wand. Damn it, do I really need that? Yeah, I'll grab it just because I can sell it. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. I can head back up. Alright. Let's check this area out. Mm -hmm. You wait. I don't want to wait. No, quit doing that. There we go. What's in here? Is this anything good? Bandages. Healing sir will give to you. Oh, wait, no, that's it. Elixir. It's not potion. I'll just give that to you, I suppose. Now that I was good in there, that wasn't really that good at all. Oh, I picked this lock. Well, how about that, huh? Acid shower. Not worth stealing. Fine robe. Also not worth stealing. No, that's worth stealing. It's worth picking locks because it gives you experience. Alright, that's not stealing. Uh, tools, I don't know if I ever need those. I'll take the gold bars and the iron bars because they can be sold and stuff like that. And they're f and I can take them. The sign says Castle Gardens. Please stay off the mushrooms. Nice. Prince Shevin. What's up, Prince Man? You see a man in his early 20s wearing beautiful clothes. He doesn't look very bright. A silver circlet rings his hand. Or... <laughs> rings his head. He seems to be looking for something. He is sad. 
Hi, he mutters as he continues to search. I'm Shevin. I am a prince. May I ask what you were doing? I am looking for my lizard. She's naughty and has run away. I thought a thought seems to pass through his mind, moving at glacial speed. Oh, wait. I'm also the crown prince. That's important. I'm gonna make him sound like like a like a really feminine guy, you know. <laughs> what is your lizard's name? Her name is Shevin. I like that name because it's easy to remember. Here, Shevin, Shevin, Shevin. Tell me if you see her. She has a pretty hat. Are you really the Prince of Avernum? He stands up straight and fixes you with a stare that seems to be intended to carry great weight. It doesn't work. I am Crown Prince. One day, I will be king. Then I will, uh, be the king and slay things. When I'm king, my lizard will be my prince, and I will have a queen. Neat, huh? You will become king when your father dies? Well, I, I think it's harder than that. I think the council picks someone. But why shouldn't it be me? Do you think anyone else is better? I think not. Life in the underworld sometimes drive, drives mad those subjected to it. Tragically, this young man seems thus afflicted. Why are you so sad? I lost my ring. It was a gift for me, and now it was gone. It was silvery, but not silver. It had a gem. It was pretty. I lost it somewhere in the castle. If you find my ring, I will be very grateful. I found your ring. He quickly grabs it and shoves it onto his finger. He doesn't really look at it. Thank you. You are great heroes. Thank you. Doesn't seem inclined to give you any sort of reward. It's a very nice ring you are wearing. Thanks. You found it for me. When I am king, I will make you a captain or something. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Alright, thank you, Shevin. You're one weird ass guy. He's looking. He 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 he's he's lost his 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 ring, but he's looking for his lizard. There's his lizard. There's a small lizard here. It's wearing a tiny pink bonnet, tied securely to its head. It doesn't look happy. Hello. You talk to the lizard just long enough to start feeling extremely embarrassed and self-conscious, and you bid it farewell. It scuttles away. Okay, let's go see if I can go tell him that I found his lizard. Hmm, okay. Guess I can't tell him that I found his lizard. I guess he doesn't want to know that. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. I'm good with that, though. Let's keep looking around. This game is so big. Like, like it's long. That type of thing. Not like big like my dick. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm bad, I know. Alright, let's hop in here. What's up with that green stuff on that table? Ooh, I can take it. Is that cloak really that big? Maybe it's just like the same texture on the ground or something like that. Yeah, that's probably it. That guy just say, then you must die? I swear that's what he said. Okay, we're gonna talk to the king last. Now let's enter this royal dining hall. Let's talk to Josh. A skinny boy about 15 years old is attacking the floor furiously with his broom. He is very pale. He may have been born in Vernon. You ask his name. Josh. Or Josh. He stares at your weapon with open mouthed awe. What are you doing around here? I sweep and clean and stuff, but I won't always. I travel someday. And where are you going to travel? Up, down, and all over. I'll be an adventurer and cast spells and go to every tiny little corner of these caves. His eyes get very wide. I'll even go to the abyss. What's the abyss? His voice gets low. I heard some grown-ups talking about it. It's a big cave to the west and the north. It's where all the people get sent who get sent down here and are actually mean and nasty rather than just different. They're mean and nasty people, but I could handle them.